Hello everybody, welcome back to Cities Skylines. We're here with a new series for the channel because my last one died. The, the, the save failed completely. Also, I think I can do a lot better. And also, the new DLC just came out, so I thought it could be a good opportunity to start something new. Mainly the thing about the save corrupting, but also I can do a lot better. So I'm looking forward to doing bigger and better for this series. It will be quite similar to the last series, it's kind of like a reworking, but it's the same concept, I'm just doing it better. Let's get into this first episode and tell you about the history of the city of Jalan. But as you can see right now, it is not the city of Jalan, it is simply the Isle of Jalan. Before it was a city, it was simply this isle stretching between, but not quite connecting, across a gap between two larger landmasses. Both of which would often lay claim to the Isle at different times through history, though never really settled or created a city on it themselves. As it was the closest crossing point between these two by a long distance, it became referred to as the Pathway, which would later on be shortened down to, in its native language, Jalan. Despite its name, due to the fact that it was an Isle and it wasn't connected to either side, it was always easier just to sail straight across the strait than to sail onto the island, walk across it and then sail across on the other side. So most people travelling nearby would simply sail right past it. Because of this, for a long time, its inhabitants were very few, really only occupying a small fishing village with people living a pretty happy but simple life on their untouched tropical island. It was until the Industrial Revolution and the rise of a more global sail trade from the world's superpowers of the time that the Isle started to get more attention, with the settlement of a trade post and dock due to its positioning on a strait, which was a great shortcut for ships who were able to not only use it as a shortcut but also as a jumping off point to trade with the surrounding nations and cities. While the original island inhabitants had no interest in the foreigners or their trade, the settlement did bring in people from internationally and also the surrounding areas who also started building their own houses and setting up a proper settlement a little way from the port which was owned by the international countries and businesses. As quick access to and from the island to be able to sell more became more important it was with this that in the early 20th century a quite impressive for its time rail line was run connecting both countries and the island of Jalan together. While the fast growth of Jalan renewed interest from both nations on either side as to who owned the growing island and city, with an hour mixed population from both sides and a large international population and business interests, the foreign companies and empires were able to use their power to convince both sides to officially declare Jalan as a sovereign country due to both sides benefiting from the increased trade activity, especially with the new train line. Along with the original train station built specifically for trade, the native residents of the island built a small station in a more central location away from the trading dock with which passengers and goods could also be loaded from and it was from this station that the city proper would grow, with people setting up businesses and housing around the station and the housing slowly growing out from there, this station eventually becoming the lifeblood of the settlement similar to the railway town set up through the USA around the same time. The city of Jalan grew, its housing spreading out further and growing denser, its port growing and when the city outgrew its humble train station, a new one was built along with an impressive city hall and large square. Both of these were built in a European style by a government who wanted to show its modern and international influence and intentions. So soon after that they built a similarly styled university to try and excel by pushing a international and western style education for its population. So the city expands, small settlements away from the city eventually get absorbed into the city as it spreads out. Roads that start as natural dirt paths become cobblestoned and then with the growing use of cars eventually get asphalted over and old streetcar networks get torn up. The suburbs densify and then densify again as the city outgrows a small island. The old port is replaced by new shipping container ports. The old fashioned way of getting to the city by train or by boat is no longer cutting it and so a new highway into the city is built. But while some roads get widened and lanes added to accommodate cars, 
lack of transport options and poor planning with repurposing old streets not meant for cars results in infrastructure unable to keep up with the amount of traffic. So we start our series here. The city is in a transitional period, struggling with growth, with poor planning, with good prospects, but still struggling infrastructure and still lower income and poverty areas. The shipping and cargo industry is bringing in money, but seems to be no longer as sustainable long-term as it once was. And so the city's new forward-thinking government is transitioning to a more tourism focused economy with more financial services to encourage companies to do business in their country with favorable tax regimes and using tax reforms to tempt wealthy foreigners into the country and using their previous generation's forethought to invest in good education to hopefully modernize into a proper world-class country. Let's go. All right, welcome to Cities of Skylines and this lovely little train making its way down our train line. Thanks for watching my little history section at the beginning. If you did, you can understand if that's uh, you want to skip straight to the building. But we are in my lovely looking tropical island. There's not very much of it right now. Just this little bit that we have here. Uh, there was a little bit that you would have seen in that beginning section that isn't actually being shown here. That's just because uh, I had a previous save uh, and even recorded and released a couple of episodes of this and that save file has totally gone kaput. Uh, I don't know what happens, it's not, the, it's, not, it's not the first time that's happened where I've started a series, I've even started a few uh, episodes that I put online and the save just, something happens. I think it might just be because I'm changing around some mods while I'm still doing the series and it's really uh, messed it up so uh, I'll try not to do any of that and I'll try to record these without messing around with the mods so that we can hopefully just get through and actually do a series and uh, hopefully mm, you know do this uh, often enough so that uh, it doesn't become an issue where there's big gaps in between me doing recordings because that can also be a bit of an issue when there's been a lot of updates to games and mods and stuff so this is all that we have so far. We have our uh, central train station. Uh, this became this is the the lifeblood of the the series of the uh, of the city. The um, previously when I uh, had the old save, I'd actually built out a bit of the city very roughly, not really to any detail. We just had like uh, some houses and some buildings to sort of sort of demonstrate uh, what had been here previously, but that uh, obviously got lost. So. We are back to this uh, this old section. Uh, so this is just sort of uh, a few little snippets of what the city would have been pre-industrialization. So this was obviously before really the car. We still have our cobblestone roads, uh, and as I said, this is a, a a south sort of South Asian kind of country, kind of like Singapore. Uh, it's a city state. Obviously, this is the uh, the entire city that it will be. It will be just on this one island. Uh, and it had a very strong uh, European influence, even if, you know, in my history, it wasn't necessarily owned by uh, any European city, but it did have the uh, influence of the countries of the, uh, you know, yeah, of the countries that may as well have owned it, really, but uh, this isn't necessarily like a, an old British colonial uh, buildings, even if they were... Uh, built in that style. So we just have the train station, that would have been the centre that's been built up, but uh, you know, it's uh, not exactly a central train station that you will see in some uh, like big central train station that we really should have going forwards. We have the old town hall and the old university that was built. So uh, this is some of the you know housing that would have been here traditionally, that would have had a market that would have grown from where the train station originally was. Then uh, this, as this started to grow up and then started to modernise, this will probably be uh, changed or moved around. And that'll be what we'll do for this first episode. This is uh, somewhat, you know, I'll, this is where the train station originally was and we'll keep the train station there, seeing as that's where, you know, uh, it's always been the heart of the city that the city has grown from. Uh, so we'll keep that, we're not going to move the train station anywhere else but uh, we will be pretty much removing anything that we need to 
uh, modernize this city. So the city will be a very 21st century so Singapore mega city inspired city, but on this very tiny island. Uh, we're pretending this tiny little country got super rich uh, by in attracting a lot of uh, rich companies and companies and people. Uh, so I'm going to show you this uh, city as it goes from uh, old school into the new school. So it'll be a little bit of a mix of uh, weird uh, old school and new school for now until we get rid of this. And that's what we'll do for this first episode. So I think the first thing, center of the city, we are going to have a train station. Uh, so we're going to update this because this will not do for our central train station. I think I'll, I like the elevated train route through here. I think we can keep this. Uh, you know, it would make a little bit more ease of use to have this uh, maybe like go underground, but I quite like that this, that we have to, you know, respect that this would have been built like this and the roads would have then, you know, been built out from there, uh, including going underneath the train tracks really before the car was really a thing on the island. And now we kind of have to sort of build around the fact that the city has gotten used to this elevated rail. You know, as the uh, I'll start building straight away. So as the city would have modernized into the 20th century, we would have uh, placed all of these cobblestone roads eventually with regular paved roads for cars. I think we'll build this a little bit progressively. So we'll be building, we'll be modernizing, putting new stuff in there. Um, but we'll kind of be building sort of in the stages. So we'll be building this here uh, as a city as we had originally was how it was in like the 19, like early 1900s. We'll sort of be skipping like a hundred years into the future as this starts to grow and build up. And then in future we may go back and then improve it further. So in this example, uh, we will be putting down our roads and we'll maybe put down roads in a way that that it makes sense in my head that this city may have uh, originally uh, built the roads in a very carcinogenic way as it was uh, developing a lot in the uh, rise of the car from like the 60s to the early 2000s so there may be issues with uh, you know traffic and um, just you know signs of uh, the city building in a way that isn't exactly sustainable as it tries to become a great city in the modern age. So we'll sort of build like that and then maybe later on we'll come back uh, to show how the city is maybe learning and progressing and maybe uh, doing some better policies with like uh, maybe trying to reduce traffic in the future. So for now uh, we'll keep the roads as they are uh, even though they may change in the future um, because you know, uh, normally where roads are, even when a city, you know, does a lot of uh, changes, uh, the city will usually keep it, the roads where they are. You know, unless they have to, they're not gonna. It's naturally gonna progress slowly and not just wipe away everything and then put in new roads. So bringing our city into the modern day, the train station uh, probably isn't. Uh, fit for purpose. I've downloaded a few train stations we can try. Uh, let's see if we got to. I have. So we got this. This is the Berlin train station. That's a big one. Uh, you know, this is a still. I'm going to try and get as much population as we can onto this island. But it is still, you know, compared to a real city, it is still pretty small, even if it will be quite dense. So whether we need a train station of this size. I don't know, this is four train tracks. So I think we're gonna try and keep this, because this is where it's historically been and the city would have grown to accompany this. And even if we're upgrading it, you know, I'm not going to try to, you know, not try and wipe out everything and just rebuild it from scratch. You know, have to pretend like you know the uh, city 
had these this infrastructure previously and they want to upgrade the station and um, they kind of you know they've already built all this and the city's kind of progressed into uh, has already built itself up around these train stations and you know, having these uh, roads that go underneath and uh, they don't necessarily change the entire road structure of the entire city just to accompany it so they're kind of uh, going to keep this train station where in this area going to keep the infrastructure where it is for now you know maybe some things can be updated some you know paths can be tweaked a little bit but we're not going to just rebuild the whole thing or like rebuild all of this to be like underground or something I'm uh, kind of gonna try and work around the constraints of what historically had been here so these are elevated which is what I want I built I downloaded a few that were uh, elevated which is what I wanted uh, what else have we got we got go away that mod we got this that's a small one for now I'm really only counting for this middle train station I don't really have exact plans for public transport yet that's going to be kind of one of those things where we're just gonna to have to sort of build it realistically as much as the you know the city would have had this train station but um, then developing in a sort of car centric manner they would have got rid of a lot of their public transport and we will then later on once the city's already developed then we'll be putting public transport in and we'll have to kind of do it the way the city did, will, would have to in real life where they're gonna to have to try and build public transport around what's already there uh, sort of as a bit of a challenge so um, we're not going to be putting anything down to plan for future public transport we're gonna have to think about it then to sort of uh, you know challenge ourselves a little bit so uh, I'm not sure what yet whether this will be used as a you know regional public transport although that would uh, be good but but uh, even so even if this was the only train station I still would like more than just the one single track even if right now it's really only going to be used for international travel to the city and isn't being used for it's like a commuter rail uh, so we got that one, that's a small one that's, together, that's underground but this one, this is one that came with the map actually and this one looks like it's at grade so it's not elevated at all but it is pretty cool I do like the look of it um, and I want to have a really nice looking city with lots of cool stuff in it so I do like that one uh, it would have to you know have be elevated and then come down to the ground and then go up again which I don't really like so even though I really like this delete so even though I do really like that, it's kind of, I don't think it works with uh, wanting elevated. Why are you popping up every time? That's really annoying. Uh, that's the modular one. That's not where you want. Freight terminal. Uh, that's a sunken. Uh, that one again, I think that's underground. So again, that doesn't really work. That's also really, oh, saving. That's also really big. Oh. There's that one. See that's right there. And this one that's not as big. This one has take a look. So this one is has it uh, room for a road underneath and it has the dual track. This is what I used in the first episode of the last series that I had to cancel and then delist off YouTube. So if we wanted to replay what I was doing before, I had just put down a train station with this one. So it's whether I want to upgrade to this big the Berlin train station, which looks really cool. Yeah, that's too big. I really like this. The only thing is that there's, I guess either way, there's no... I mean, there's no bypassing the station. So either way, all of the tracks, whether they're just passing through, because this will also be used for pass-through traffic, and for freight travel, for freight traffic, they will both have to travel through here. Um, obviously, if you have four, that makes it look a little bit less silly, because you can run it down the middle. 
but this one maybe is more realistically sized for the station. Plus this is a real station apparently. This is the Berlin one. I don't know if this is a real elevator, a uh, real, it just says elevated glass. So I don't know if this is actually the real one, which, you know, I prefer not to use real stuff. It doesn't have to be like, if it's super iconic, it's like the Burj Khalifa or the Shard, then I'd prefer not to use it. But I mean, not as many people know the Berlin station, but I'm, I'm feeling this one. I feel like it's just, it's, you know, we have kind of, you know, right now it looks like I've got a bit of spare room, but I mean, this is the entire city. So I prefer maybe not to use too much on just one station. So I will, Jesus Christ, please delete. So I think we're going to have to use this one. Uh, now the city would have naturally developed to have these kind of parallel roads, uh, which doesn't quite work because now we have this central pathway down the centre. Uh, so we might have to rejig a few things there. I think immediately we're gonna have to start doing some deleting. So we, I'm sorry, you mark it, and I think we'll have to maybe try and relocate this guy. Like obviously he can't stay quite right there, but I'd prefer to at least you know have him somewhere that like you know pays homage to the fact that this was once a. Uh, temple here. So we'll delete this. Uh, so, oops. And that kind of turns this uh, into, this could almost be a roundabout. I don't know if that's realistic for a see this size. Yep, you're complaining, that's okay. And we'll move you. Yeah, ah, that's, hmm. Are you gonna fit? That's, oh, it's just a tiny bit too big for what it was originally. So if we line this up, so you would have been approximately there. We can have you extending over. If we just delete a couple of roads, then you go underneath. And then we get a waiting till four lane road, one of you. I'll have to use one with a median. Yeah, that works. So this is underneath. This could be like a drop-off area as well. I think immediately what we're going to do is uh, naturally roads would have developed alongside the train tracks like this. We're going to keep those, hopefully. But I think now these will be used as local roads to, to remove the trees. I think these will be used more as local roads uh, and we'll have a center express lane through the middle. I think that's what we will be doing. I'm gonna keep the elevated train straight line where it used to be. I think that's more of an interesting thing to have the city built around this train line that's been kept from where it was, even if it's not as practical anymore. So I'm gonna have to, so I wanna keep that, but you may pretend that it got updated and uh, modernized with some uh, new, I might just elevate it a little bit and then run a road down the center. Uh, so here, obviously it's, cause it's hill. It doesn't work quite as well, but it can split off from the road at certain points. So here we have this as it's grounded, but here this might be a point where we say, okay, this is where it originally was built, but then, you know, nearly a hundred years later, 
it was elevated above the expressway that we're now putting down. Look for that's weird. And then, no, not you. You to, come on. You to you, you to you as well. bit that looks a bit better I think extending that Y out uh, so that will be that for now you and this because you're complaining but I think that looks better if we do that and this will be the you know town hall but I think this will be the old town hall that I don't think will no longer be a town hall so this will be kind of a kept as like a historical museum uh, for now, at least, we'll see if we like a look at that. We'll keep that in the uh, in there, and this will be just a big pedestrian plaza. Uh, we'll pretend that you got sort of. Hmm, where do we want you? Maybe there. It's kind of close to where you used to be. We could put it right where you used to be. What do you mean? You can pretend that that was just. Has been kept there. Mentioned up maybe to an avenue down the center. I think we'll leave that for now because I th in the intro I think I mentioned that we had a, f a freeway connecting the outside but I haven't actually done that in this version. So I'll see if I want to do that but for now I think we'll leave it just as sort of a, a green path and we'll just have these two local roads then we'll just have occasional intersections I just think of a good way to do that because you know if we have just a crossing here you could get backed up if there's a lot of traffic but if it's regular enough it might be okay Let's see maybe we'll just put them down put some down here oh no where are you, where are you going why are you elevated on the ground I think because this is a little bit higher up then it should be. Oh yeah, I forgot that that will run into there. Uh, we'll maybe demolish a few of these houses. And we'll rework this road, pretending like it was done like that. Move you out. I guess might as well do that. Line it up. I mean, that looks pretty terrible. If I do that, do that for now. We'll have them as sort of a roundabout kind of dealio. Because of this here, then obviously the road wouldn't have followed this exactly alongside. So this sort of changes it up. So this road would have just been servicing this area. This one, because it's such a straight shot, will have these two parallels, and they will occasionally have, you know, ones like that. And that'll be like kind of how it would have developed naturally over time. To make sure I'm not actually running through the pylons. So pretend like, you know, this is how these streets sort of developed originally when the city was being naturally built out before really the invention of the car and these roads are just going to carry over from there. Uh, oh yeah, I need some... I don't know why, whenever I pause it, the, the, the uh, night time progresses even though I have daylight, the night and day disabled in real time. Uh, I don't know what and what is doing that, but it is. Uh, but yeah, so we'll do that. It looks kind of a bit artificial and gritty, but it's because it's following the line. But in general, I want the road to feel like it was a bit more naturally built out. It wasn't built out over, you know, as a grid. So where, if, if necessary, we'll even put down some old buildings. Like I'll grab, if I want to build like a new, uh, commercial area I will put down like some I'll build us an area out with like these 
sort of older buildings. I'll, you know, I'll put down some stuff really roughly and then build like a road network around there and then we'll essentially have to re renovate that area, develop, redevelop that area using the roads that I'd put down instead of putting down new roads just in the middle of the field. So I'd start putting down roads here. If I'd start making a road network, it can look quite unnatural. I mean, or yeah, unnatural, right? It can look a bit too gridded, it can look a bit too planned. I don't really like that. The city would have been built from a uh, naturally formed pre-car poor village, as I was showing in the intro, and then from there, building up from Take, you know, we can delete roads where, where are needed, but we still want to take a little bit of inspiration from where stuff was previously. Um, and the, the only other thing that I want to do in this episode, I'm going to put a few little things down in here to uh, start off with. But I also want to then have a couple of points uh, start essentially our skyline with uh, our probably tallest building. So we'll have like a, our tallest building here-ish and uh, also gonna have a hotel and tourist area which I think should be around this pool where there'll be more leisure leisurely areas and we'll have some resorts and stuff uh, and I think I want to have a really tall hotel somewhere around this area whether it's like out here or here we'll figure out so I want to try and find some really cool tall buildings that'll be our cap for like the the tallest buildings in the city and then from there we will build naturally out i don't want it to I have a lot of tall buildings but i don't want it to be like just like a solid like straight across just tall building tall building, tall building. you kind of have to have a tallest building and then taper off from there or have like some natural peaks and falls kind of like a, a mountain right you're not just going to do like a straight jagged square it has to have peaks and then falls and that so to find our uh, tallest building in the city, which will be kind of here. The city, you know, we imagine this is kind of like a Dubai or Bahrain-esque, you know, a country suddenly comes into a lot of money and it's now building some, a lot of uh, expensive stuff, including a maybe a mega tall building that is, you know, like a mega tall, it doesn't make a lot of sense. It's essentially just used as a, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it, a tourist destination, really. That's like why the Burj Khalifa exists, right? It's not as practical as just having a bunch of small areas, uh, smaller buildings. But the reason it's so tall is so that people can show off. So that's why we're going to have the big building here uh, in its, it says its center point. Uh, and then we'll build out from there. So let's find a few buildings that we can use. All right, we'll go everyone together here in a Hercule Pyro-esque uh, lineup of uh, potential victims to be our tallest building. As you can see, they are really uh, freaking tall. Uh, so now, I have to figure out which one I like the look of. Uh, this one. Of this one's the tallest. Even if we take the, the spire off, it's kind of the biggest boy. I don't think I'll. I don't think I like that one. These two are kind of similar. Um, I think I like the, oh, come on. I think I like the smaller one more. And these two are kind of alike as well. And I like the smaller one as well. It's got this cool like pattern on it. Uh, you here, yeah, this guy. I know this guy's real. I don't think I don't recognize any other ones. Maybe this one's a bit scary. I'm not sure if I'd want to be right on that edge there. I can't think. Is this one in New York? I don't know. I think this is one. That's the only one I definitely recognise. We're going to take that one away. Uh, whoops. That one's a bit square, which is a bit maybe a bit uninteresting, but it's got good detail. Plus. I like the, the bottom, it's got this, it says the Ritz Carlton. Um, so that's a, a hotel chain, I believe. Uh, I quite like the, the detail on the bottom. It's got like this cool section up there. Like this one, I don't mind, but the texture work's not great. 
and the bottom, like, you know, I don't get it. That doesn't look like a real building, does it? Like, that's not, when you walk up to a building, you don't not often just see that. Or is this one you can, even in the low res city skylines, or you can tell that looks like a, you know, a real building you could walk up to. So that's kind of, even though I like the shape of that one more than this, this one looks more like a real building, which I quite like. The twist, I can use procedural objects to remove the spire, which I might you do if I use this one. Again, this one has like a really basic bottom, which is kind of hard to sort out. These ones, see that one has got a lobby, this one's got a lobby as well. It's kind of a plus for these guys. That looks good on the ground level. Can we get rid of that guy? Get rid of that guy. This guy is interesting, but he's not like centerpiece of the city. Interesting. Uh, this guy. I don't like the pointy one as much. I think I quite like the shape of this one. If I was going to do, so I think these are my three favorites. I think we'd have couple. I think we'll have one as, a, as the business district, like main financial center. I think we'll have one maybe as a hotel. Have it like a twin tower situation. I think that one. Or, uh, this one looks more businessy. This one's kind of funky. Like this one. Which is the Wuhan Greenland Center. And this one's the ICC, whatever that is, Hong Kong. So I guess this is a real building. This is the Ritz Carlton, which is a hotel. And I want to have one as a hotel, but I like the look of this one because it's kind of funky looking. Or this one because it's like square. That kind of makes me think this is would be a good uh, office building. Even though it says Ritz Carlton. But Ritz Carlton would be uh, makes sense for a hotel. But it looks more businessy. Whereas this one, this is the, the Wuhan center. Did I get rid of that? There we go. Um, I would say I'd rename that. I can call these whatever I want to. Uh, hmm. But this one doesn't look like a tourist attraction. This one's a bit too square. Whereas this one could be even more than this one. Like, this one's kind of cool. More helicopter up there. But I think out of the two, I prefer this one. This one would be the nice area. This would be the more more of an attraction. Like, this would have, like, the pools and the hotel around it. This one would just be a very... This would be, like, the Shanghai Tower. Like, it's not a tourist attraction like the Burj Khalifa is. It's more a... You know, just a very tall office building. That's well known for being very tall, but isn't necessarily a destination apart from just to see how big it is. I think this will be more decorated. I think that's what we'll do. This will be just here in the middle of the city. We'll build the city around it from here. And this one will be more nicely laid out. Where should we put it? Maybe there. I think we'll do it here by this bit of the beach. Yeah. We obviously we change. I think we'll leave that for now. I won't actually be doing anything with it. So we'll turn it off so it stops complaining about anything. Uh, and we'll actually start to build a little bit around this guy. We'll just start to build a little bit of a road to start off here. The city will look a little bit weird being some parts really developed uh, alongside these empty fields and some parts being like yeah we're just going to kind of put it down alongside the existing roads and figure out how it all fits together later. Uh, but hope you guys don't mind too much and can stick with it. Uh, so this guy is a bit too wide. What if I should have him like this?
So I mean, like this, this could be cool. Like coming into the the train session, you see the big Ritz Carlton, or have it like this. So at the university, I guess when you're right in the middle of the square, back here, go through here, you still kind of see the Ritz Carlton. I think that's probably where to go. Go facing in towards the center. Is that lined up? So lined up with this guy. Close enough to. Yep. And you go there. I think it's best to try and get the broadest strokes down possible. So we'll get the biggest sort of elements down and then we'll sort of build smaller and more detail from there. So in getting the big building in, uh, we'll deal with this one a bit later, but at least getting a few big ones down. I think the main business district will be around this area here, but it'll be fairly mixed use. Uh, we'll try not to have too much like, you know, just offices, just residential, just leisure. We'll try and build them a bit more naturally in mixed use to sort of make an actually good city as well. So for now, we're just going to pull up this down uh, and more detailed stuff will be to come. I've set the concrete texture to be this cobblestone, which I can change in future, but I think it's quite cool. Plus then I can just have it like a cobblestone you know, square like this and I don't have to put it down an extra decal. Like There are some other cobblestone-y or like pavement uh, decal um, or textures I can set as the concrete, so I can change it up for two later anyway. Uh, so I think all I'm going to do to finish off this first episode before we get building into some detailed things properly is I'm going to put down a few invisible paths so that people can, pedestrians can start walking around here and then maybe I'll put down a little bit of detail, just some sort of preliminary details before I uh, figure out exactly what I want to do to up like a cafe or something here. Uh, I'm trying to make this a little bit nicer to start off with, uh, even though it probably needs a little bit of extra work. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it right now, but I think having a few little things down here to get a little bit of, uh, you know, show a bit of life around the area once we put down some housing, I think that'll be good. So I'll uh, do that, I think maybe via a time lapse, and then I will see you hopefully in the next episode to start doing a little bit more.